first aid on him. Shield regen. Target squad member. districts to gather resources before going into the mission area or start directly in the mission area oh well we don't really have enough to buy any of this stuff yet so we'll just go to the mission area that's cool that's handy i don't know why but this game hypes me up for altered carbon i can see why they're both super cyberpunky one thing this game really is doing right is how kind of like i love the look at the world and stuff pretty nice Uh oh doggos attack doggos nice <coughs> critty mutt Boom. I like our new team. You keep saying this is a cyberpunk grimrock, and while you're not wrong, there's a game to directly compare this to, Star Crawlers, which is fantastic, by the way. There's a fantastic cyberpunk. Is that what I'm doing What? Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, I, don't, I think I missed this one. Interesting. When did this come out? May 23rd of 27. Wow, it's three years old. Interesting. Yeah, I I never I think this one I just this went right under my radar, man. This went right under my radar. It's five bucks with 75% off. Damn son. What's the gameplay look like? Oh wow, yeah. It's very grim rocky. Yeah, look at that. Cool. This looks a little bit more like sci-fi instead of cyberpunk. Like spaceships and aliens and stuff. Still cool, don't get me wrong, but yeah. It's cool. Thanks for the heads up on that. Could be fun for like a chill afternoon stream sometime. I like how the music alternates between like electronic and rock. That's, that's pretty fly. Is it raining inside? Uh, yeah. It's the future. Where have you been? that critty get this guy down okay let's load this guy up with statuses or just go for the eyes go for the eyes okay that was pretty good that's the best thing she's said the entire game so far if you get that reference, we're probably buddies. Yeah. A lot of people in chat are like, what? What does that even mean? And the rest of chat is like, oh my God. <laughs> Venom energy drink. Uh, can we go in here? Is that a door? Where is it? I just know it from Ko. Hey, I'll take it. That's fine. If you know Go for the Eyes Boo and that's a Co-Carnage meme for you, I'll take it. I'm, I'm, I'm honored. Okay. Oh, this thing. Oh, we haven't done any of this stuff yet. Yeah, we got, we got to check that out after this mission. I don't want to sound pedantic, but with such damaged shields, you risk coming to a bad end. Perhaps you could use the battery to recharge them. Not yet, dude. That'd be a waste. She's giving me bad advice. Stop it. Say more thing about boo and eyes. <laughs> just, just stick to what you know. Eight. Um... Like back these ways, we got some directions. Down here. Oh. I really need a vacation. Cool. Wait, can I use this thing? Yes. Great. 
little it rhythm game there. Very valuable, but it could be useful. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. That's in. Oh, that's how we came in, isn't it? Okay, over here. You point, I punch. Yeah, heal Jaldi, you are too. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? Bam! I really like this new team comp we got going on here. Kicking a little butt this round. As the sage said, he who wishes to fight must first count the cost. Okay. Uh, did I just open something? We don't need the battery yet. We'll save that. Oh. Here's something. What's this? Oh, there's three? I love this kind of game like Legend of Grim Grimrock and so on, but this one looks terrible. How is it so far since Wisdom? Oh, it's it's certainly not terrible. I would not call this game terrible. There, there's a, a good amount of depth. Uh, the environments are kind of fun. Um, the, the combat is seemingly pretty complex with the different status effects and initiative and everything. Um, it is indie. It is indie. Um, like there, there's been some bugs. There's been some sound weirdness. The hard difficulty seems a little weirdly balanced. Um, a lot of the UI and elements are a little basic. Like, it, it's very much an indie game. Um, and it feels and plays like an indie game. But that being said, like, there's a reason I've been playing it for two hours and I'm still playing it. Um, it's, it's kind of fun. I'm having a good time with it. Yeah. But it is indie. It is indie. So, I know, I know that's like an immediate deal breaker for a lot of you guys. And, you know, it's understandable. Um... My Dixie Cisco likes all games. Well, of course. An echo interface. Uh, memory. Here in the lower right panel, there's a list of codes you will need to find to gain access to the system. Okay. Here in the lower left panel, there's a system code log. Identify the correct codes and select them. Okay. Here in the top right panel, there's the time left to complete the hacking. If you select the wrong code, the time will flow faster. Nethil 249. Neth location 461. Huh. That's pretty cool. Okay, okay. I see you're learning to interact with primitive circuits. Be careful. Their simple minds could have an effect on you. Okay. Weird. Uh, also, unlike Legends of Grimrock, this game ties in some darkest dungeon mechanics. So your characters get injuries. It's kind of done in weeks. Um, you sub units in and out. Uh, all the people can level. There's a full research tree. You can spawn new agents. Like, there's 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 a lot of cool stuff in this game. Um, and you know, there's there's definitely a few things that could use a little bit more cooking. But there's there's some cool stuff in the game too. Yeah, kind of XCOMy, darkest dungeony. Yeah. There's this whole item system that we'll need to look at next time. I'm not really sure how this thing works. Apparently, we can assign them to our guys or something. 
we'll take a look at that. Um, in a bit here. Oh God. Woo! That was a tough one, man. A truly remarkable piece. All right, where are we going? Looks like here. This game on GOG. Yes, this game is on GOG. And uh, when GOG well, found out last I night that I was playing this game, they gave us a 20% off code. So if you look in the top, there's like a link from my sponsor. Uh, it's like co.tv slash C451 deal. And it'll get you 25 or 20% off if you do end up wanting to buy it. Mm -hmm. The next question would be, do you recommend this game to buy? And hopefully you've been listening to me throughout the stream but like i said um i i i would recommend this game to strong fans of the throwback system like this it also has some depth with that being said it's it's very indie uh there's probably going to be some much needed patches hard seems relatively poorly balanced but i don't really know about that and um yeah it, it does have issues and i would say before buying watch the stream a little bit and see if it's for you mm -hmm. The music is really good. I'm really digging the music. Is there an interesting story in this? There hasn't really been so far. No. The story so far has been, we were basically hired by the government to clean out a sector of a city by any means necessary. Yeah, there's not, there, the characters are all clones, so there's no real characters. Um, So the, the story seems rather thin so far. Yeah. Dendez says, that's a co-no on the recommendation, but said politely. Well, it's not that I'm not recommending it. It's that, honestly, it's not my place to recommend a game like this. I'm going to I'm gonna tell you how I'm feeling about it, and I'm going to tell you everything I can about it, and then you make the decision. Um, I, I'm not going to be like, go buy this game. Like, you know, that's, that's not how I roll. Um, not what I do. I'd much, I'd much rather be honest and, and make you get an honest opinion than get a little sale on a website. You know what I mean? Like, it's not really how we operate. All right, here we go. Let's show them who they're dealing with. In the meantime, I'll try to be my checkers by home. Okay, fun. you hurt. Okay. Um, let's get you radiated. <laughs> Isaiah says, go buy this game. Put that on the box from Co Carnage. No. Um, a slurred. Son of a biscuit, man. <laughs> All right, let's stun him. Uh, is this radiation too? We need to get a mark. We don't have a mark yet on this team. Wow, nice shot, my dude. That was the last one. Here you go now. We have a mission to complete in case you've forgotten. Man, this girl's so sassy. Are those jellyfish? They are! That's kind of cool. Anything else in here? Hey. But Ko, you would tell everyone they have to buy Pathfinder Kingmaker. Yes. You do have to go buy Pathfinder Kingmaker. Go to ko.tv slash GOG, buy Pathfinder Kingmaker, um, and, and don't ask questions. Just do it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And then after that, walk through your house. Uh, just pick up any electronics or various things. Put them outside on foldable tables. Have a garage sale of all your things. Uh, once you have all that money, go to co.tv slash Pathfinder and throw it all at your monitor. Like that. Just throw it. Just overhead, underhand. 
Um, all of it. Yeah. <clears throat> Great. Good talk. Don't actually do that. Thanks. Um, okay, let's do return to agency. <laughs> Papa Denny of says, that seems violent. <laughs> Box of Doom says, help! Help, I'm being influenced! <laughs> help! Somebody, I'm being influenced! Help! Help! <laughs> I appreciate Ko for willing to go on despite the flaws of this, but still enjoy small things like jellyfishes to show it off for more viewers instead of switching to Wasteland 2. Yeah, the, well, the thing of the stars, I mean, there's there's a, there's a lot of little nuance in this game, man. I'm... I'm, I'm there's, again, there's a reason I'm still playing it. If I wasn't having fun, I'd stop playing. Uh, good morning, Director. I have a rather sensitive assignment for you. A freelance fixer has asked us to hack into the Gunina Nanotech Network and deploy a virus. Please pay attention. You have a limited amount of time to complete this mission. Have a nice day. Looking in research. Oh, we got 10 rep now, so that, that should open up some stuff here. Yeah, look at all this. New DNA mutation.
Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Whoa. This is a lot of customization. <laughs> Gives a 100% critical chance if the HP is lower than 2%. These are the different hacks we can run on people. Install a virus into the enemy computer. Okay. We can do that. The Shap says, is this game any good? It's it's pretty cool. I think some people are really gonna like it. Um I'm uh I'm a little I might let it cook a little bit longer for like long term stuff, but there's there's a lot of potential here. Yeah, I really like the music. The style's pretty nice, the depth seems pretty intense. There's a lot of good things about it. But it's kind of indie. It's got some weird bugs. Um, the story is a little bit lacking. So there's there's pluses and negatives. Yeah. Where do I see their pain? I guess it's the orange bar, right? Nice, dude. Uh, BD Saint, give me one sec on that. Uh, BD Saint says, I'll ask a different way. I struggle with CRPGs in general. Uh, do you have any general tips on how to get into them and stick with them? Their concepts are cool, but I'm overwhelmed by the amount of choices. I always feel like I'm doing something wrong. Uh, okay, so here's the thing. With a really well-made CRPG, almost every choice will be viable in some way, even if it's kind of a techie or specific way. So the best thing I can suggest is start on lower difficulties, Lower difficulties are great as you're learning. Um, CRPGs generally really, really reward people that explore. So don't rush main stories in CRPGs. Um, also, uh, try to try to generally pick like a few types for your characters and then really kind of focus on those. So with your tank character, you know, give them a lot of AC, give them a lot of hit points, things like that. With your rogue character, make them really high damage, you know, things like that. Again, it really depends on the CRPG, um, but generally that kind of stuff can work. Take it slow, make lots of saves, and don't hesitate, especially as you're learning, to save scum. 
if you save right before before a big fight and you do that big fight and you barely win reload the fight and do it again try it a different way experiment test learn that's how i get decent at crpgs um even if you win a fight reload it and try it a different way do things you haven't done before um that kind of stuff can really help kind of get down the mechanics of the rpg that you're talking to dr Kerr on the job says co don't teach save scumming to the youngins well save scumming is a religion so bless that i subscribe to um you don't need to save scum of course some people don't like it and that's fine it's totally understandable um but yeah i am i am a member of the church of save scum i spread the save scum gospel so um you know for me I, I please ask that you don't um, disrespect my religion. Thank you. I wonder what the hive was like before they dropped the chemical bombs here in 2084. Who would have lived here? 